and they cannot catch the Peel River. The water is important because we get our fish out of there. Together today for our children tomorrow. So it's time for us to stand up now, stand up together. We had to compromise greatly to accept that 80% protection. It, it, I mean, it was hurtful. And instead of the government just issuing its fiat, its decree and saying this is how it's going to be, we've developed an elaborate process. We have agreed to it. We are fully supportive of the final recommended plan. The government is trying to play outside the rules of the umbrella final agreement in terms of the Peel planning process. The uh, Yukon government, they happen to be governing a territory uh, which has an umbrella final agreement embedded in the Constitution that provides independently of the government of the Yukon a whole procedure for land use planning. It was of utmost importance that land use planning within the Yukon would be undertaken in a public environment. Well, the final recommended plan was issued by the Commission in 2011. It was the result of seven years of a well-formed and well-funded public planning process. Well, the Commission is, plan is the one that had comments from the public, comments from the First Nation, comments from all affected uh, parties, governments. The land use planning process, as it has been carried out so far, is a very democratic process. And if it's overturned, that undermines the intent of the Umbrella Final Agreement and it cuts right to the core of people's uh, faith in, in the democratic society they think they live in. The uh, government of the Yukon can't open up the whole thing again. They're confined in making their uh, decision on the plan to the modifications that they uh, uh, proposed at the time when they were supposed to say we accept, we reject, or we want to modify it. That's the way the umbrella final agreement is set up. That makes public consultation meaningful. The plan went through all of its process with all of the parties, the governmental parties, going, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. We get to the very end and suddenly the Yukon government says, mm-mm. And so the other plan participants are saying, hey, that's dirty pool. The government hardly received that plan. They probably just throw it in the waste paper ba basket or something like that. The government isn't entitled to say, well, all of that consultation, it was interesting, but it really means nothing, and we're still uh, allowed to do whatever we want to do. And now that the commission no longer is sitting as a public interest body, now you want to do it yourself behind closed doors. We need to tell the government to protect our land, that we want to protect it. Not what they say, but what we want them to do. It's time for us to stand up now, stand up together. The big picture of that area is our traditional value of our food, of our fruit for traditional medicine, which is very important to it. My, my mother paddled down that cannon in 1927, you know, so it really has a special meaning for us, for me. Every trickle of water that runs into the Peel River water should be protected. It's not only for our future generation, but it's for everybody. I really believe that the government should be listening to the elders and we should be pushing back to them. First Nation treaties are very solemn promises. The First Nations um, gave up a tremendous amount in order to enter into the Umbrella Final Agreement. The importance of the final agreements is the issue of uh, the nations giving up 97% of their landmass and retaining 3% in regards to 
obligations and expectations of the final agreements. It would be dangerous to deviate from the process in the umbrella final agreement. It ensures that First Nations and affected Yukoners are heard and it's an important part of the law of the Yukon. Uh, we put forth a 100% protection position and once the Commission uh, considered all the comments that came in, uh, they deciphered everything and they came out with a f final recommended plan of 80% protection. We would have loved to see 100%, but we are fully prepared to agree to 80 Nobody got everything of what they're asking for in this plan. We tried to strike a balance, no. Support is a good plan. It's a good plan because I like the plan. We're fighting for the future of everybody, not just for our people. We need to support that final recommended plan. We need to ensure that the Yukon government signs their signature to, to it. And I encourage you all to get out to those consultations, fill up those rooms, tell them why we, <clears throat> why we need this land protected and how much we want it protected. Masicho.